How do you know the value of 5 in 1,857? Is it worth 5 or 50? In this lesson, you will learn how to find the value of a digit by using arrow cards. Let's review. Our numerical system is made up of 10 digits, 0 through 9. The value of each digit depends on its place in a number. Let's also review our base 10 blocks. Our 1's are represented with individual cubes. 10 cubes make a group of 10, 10 groups of 10 make 100, and then 10 groups of 100 make 1,000. We can use base 10 blocks to show numbers such as 2,467. You can see that we have two groups of 1,000, four hundreds, six groups of 10, and seven ones. Even though the two is a smaller digit, it is worth more than the seven because the two is in the thousands. A common mistake that many students make is thinking that the digit five and 257 has a place value of just five. The 5 in 257 has a value of 50 because it's in the tens place. Let's build a number. First, we're going to start with 800 and use our arrow cards. On top of that, we'll layer 50, and on top of that, we'll add a 7. We have built 857. The 8 is in the hundreds, the 5 is in the tens, and the 7 is in the ones. If we look at each of these digits, we can determine their value by their place in the number. The 8 is not just worth 8, it is worth 800 because it's in the hundreds. The 5 is in the tens and is worth 50, and the 7 is worth 7 ones. Let's try another one. We'll start with 3,000 and add 900, then 10, and then 4. The 3 is in the thousands, the 9 is in the hundreds, the 1 is in the tens, and the 4 is in the ones. The 3 is worth 3,000 because it's in the thousands. It's not just worth 3. We have 9, 100, 10, and then 4 ones to create 3,914. What is the value of 5 and 1,857? If we look at that number on a place value chart, we see that the 5 is in the tens. So the 5 is, has a value of 50. Which number is larger, 99 or 121? The digits in these numbers are very different. 99 has two large digits, and 121 has three smaller digits. The 9 in 99 is worth 90, and the other 9 is worth just 9. In 121, we have the 1 is worth 100, the 2 is worth 20, and the 1 is worth 1. If we compare these numbers, we see that 121 is larger even though the digits are smaller because of the place of the numbers. The 1 is in the hundreds and 100 is larger than 99. In this lesson, you have learned how to find the value of a digit.